birth prep for me has really just been about empowering myself in my decisions in knowing what could happen so i guess getting straight to the point of our birth plan our birth plan is in i in in ideal world the woman is up she is like in these active positions that helps the baby go through the birth canal i want to do delayed cord clamping so Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a labor birth prep video and telling you about our birth plan with baby girl. So I'm 35 weeks currently. Uh, we have been doing a lot of like the labor and birth prep for a while now. And I just wanted to kind of go into that. Before I get into the video, I do wanna say, if you, you know, had a birth plan and it didn't go to plan, like I really, really hope I'm not triggering anyone or making you feel shameful for things not going a certain way or anything like that. Really, all I want is a positive experience for me, Tim, baby girl, a healthy baby. And I know a lot of people is like, oh, why even have a birth plan? Because nothing goes to plan. And I think it just has been nice for me to put my mind towards, you know, this next step, this um, next adventure in our life and feel somewhat prepared. You guys know I'm a bit of a control freak. I like things a certain way. I'm a bit of a control freak. I think having a baby is going to be the greatest lesson ever for me personally to teach me patience, to surrender. Um, but I guess I didn't want to go into labor and birth not knowing my options, not knowing how things could go um, and that sort of thing. And so birth prep for me has really just been about empowering myself in my decisions, in knowing what could happen. And honestly, it has just been very therapeutic for me because I was super anxious about birth. Uh, but before we get into the video, I do want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. You guys know they're a frequent sponsor on my channel. And basically, if you don't know who they are, they are a platform where you can host your domain or website. I personally had my first website through them and they just make life a lot easier. So if you're someone who's not tech savvy, like myself, it does make life a lot easier. Um, the reason why I personally decided to have a website is you can't control the algor algorithms on YouTube, Instagram, you know, you don't know if like your audience is seeing your stuff. So to have somewhere that, you know, people can go where you have blog posts, where you can, you know, sell your eBooks or sell certain products um, is super helpful. And um, yeah, so I will put on the screen what my website looks like, looked like with them, super easy to use you can make it all pretty you can make it your own and because they are sponsoring this YouTube I do have a code with them you can get 10% off I will put it here I'll put all the links in the description um, if you want to check that out all right so I'm just getting a bit more comfortable a lot of weight on my knees. I don't know. I just love being in her room. Do have a nursery tour coming. Um, but let's get straight into it. So I guess let's chat about how I felt previous to informing myself and doing the things that I'm doing. I am not a maternal, not that maternal. I shouldn't say that. But like, for example, my mum, super maternal. She's like... <laughs> The way that she talks about birth, she's like, it was the greatest experience ever. Birth is beautiful. I loved giving birth. She has four kids. She's like, I do it. She did it naturally. No drugs, nothing. She's like, I love it. I'd do it again. <laughs> I would just be like, okay. <laughs> I'm not that maternal. You guys know. Yeah. Just not as maternal as that. That's fine. Um... I was honestly always of the view that I would literally go into labor. Soon as I start having contractions, I would ask for an epidural. 
and get it over and done with. And I just thought, if you can experience no pain, wouldn't you just do that? That was my view until I got pregnant. As you guys know, it took me and Tim quite a while to fall pregnant. And I guess I just was like, I need to do my own research. I need to look into it. So obviously an epidural, um, you know, it's safe. It's, it's all good. So many women get it. Um, what me and Tim decided to do at the start is a hypnobirthing course. So uh, we went through Hypnobirthing Australia. It's, so it's just basically about a positive birth program. Um, I'll put details of the lady we went through, Shari. Her business is called Belly to Birth. So she's on the Gold Coast and we did our sessions in person but i know she also does them online it was a gifted service and she has given me a code if you want to use that on any of her services so i will put that in the description she's amazing she is so informative and i think hypnobirthing can be a bit like people are like oh it's woo woo it's about breathing through your birth but honestly for us it was the best thing we did because like for example Tim did it as well and he had no idea he had no idea what labor was like what birth was like or you know the interventions that can happen how baby can feel anything like that so to have a program where you learn everything you learn all your options um, has been empowering rather than just going to the hospital trusting the doctors don't get me wrong i do trust doctors um and just going oh do whatever like i think my body my baby i just really wanted to be informed with the possibilities what could go wrong what are our choices what does that mean for me what does it mean for baby all that sort of thing so that is definitely something i recommend is to just inform yourself be and so like that's like the first, um, so we did it in like four weeks. That's what the first two weeks was. Super, super helpful. Then also hypnobirthing goes into giving you tools to get through labor. Um, so we did a lot of breathing exercises. We did a lot of like active labor things. So different positions you can get into. It's really funny because I think you watch videos about like birth on tv or movies and it's like you always see the woman on her back she's screaming it's like not very nice and i think what we loved most about hypnobirthing is it can be such a beautiful different experience so a big thing in hypnobirthing is like the woman is up she is like in these active positions that helps the baby go through the birth canal um eases with pain never on her back um yeah so we did like meditations not meditations yeah i guess meditations meditations me and tim did that together i'll put some like video footage here and it was just really beautiful for me and tim to do that together for him to have also some tools so tim learned massage points acupuncture acupuncture points ways that he can help me through labor and feel somewhat involved because I think beforehand he kind of said I just feel like I don't know anything and you're going to be in all this pain and I don't know what to do whereas now after the course he feels like yeah he can be involved he can help and he just said that was a really nice feeling oh a huge thing too is I know a lot of people and women have a lot of fear around birth because of maybe their mum through mum went through something traumatic or they know someone. I, we were personally quite lucky, whereas like my mum had a great experience, and I've all had always had quite positive stories around birth. Like my you know sister in law did it completely natural and you know different stuff like that so we didn't have too many but a huge thing hypnobirthing is great at is releasing fear and anxiety around birth i definitely had anxiety around birth but more just the unknown of like i don't know what contractions feel like i don't know what's going to happen and so like i said just knowing being informed and having tools to help us in labor 
um, just feels so empowering. So I guess getting straight to the point of our birth plan, our birth plan is in I in an ideal world, if everything just goes to plan, like it's probably not. I, I guarantee you after my birth, I'll like watch this back and be like, but um, in an ideal world, me and Tim would love to have a drug-free, physiological, natural birth. So no epi, no um, interventions like that. I'm definitely open to gas to help for pain. Um, I guess like the big thing, I've just read some stuff about an epidural that says it blocks like the brain blood connection. So a lot of the hormones that are released at a natural birth are kind of delayed or not released. And because I'm not the most maternal person, I, I think it's really like me personally, I really want that first baby comes out puts on chest, skin to skin, the, you know, the hormones of oxytocin, the love hormones, creating that connection. Um, some other things. So like I said, um, natural birth, try not to do drugs. Try not to do drugs. Okay. Also, can I just say guys, like in saying that if I get into labor and it is too much, like baby girl's posterior, it's too much. It's not, like I would not be upset if I had to get an epidural or I had to get a C-section at all. If that what if that's what needs to happen, I am so fine with it because I know my options. I've been informed. You know, I started off with a really good mindset and it's so fine. Oh, she's moving. <sighs> she's like a little wriggly worm. Um... But yeah, so that's like, this is just ideal situation. I honestly would not be upset or mad if I did have to get interventions. We're just going into it hoping for a natural birth and, you know, with our tools from hypnobirthing. Um, what was I kind of saying before? Oh yeah, birth plan. So other things that I want is skin to skin for the first hour. So they say baby on chest, skin to skin to create that nap, um, yeah, that connection and also to do the breast crawl. I won't go into it too much because I'll tell you about a resource that you can kind of look into that told me about all this sort of stuff. But basically put baby on chest and taking an hour for baby to literally like come over um, and breastfeed from both sides is really important, um, you know, for various reasons. I want to do delayed cord clamping. So that just means you don't cut the cord straight away. You wait till the cord goes white. And that means all the blood, good stuff from the placenta goes to baby, really good for baby. Um, this is a bit controversial, <laughs> but me and Tim have done a lot of research. I also think I want to get my placenta made into capsules. I've spoken to three other women who have done that, who have said it's actually incredible how good you feel when you have the capsules from the placenta because after birth, you've lost, you know, the placenta is an organ. You've lost an organ. You've lost a lot of blood, um, you know, sleepless nights and whatnot. So me and Tim are looking into, Tim's all for it. <laughs> we are looking into getting the placenta made into capsules because supposedly the energy it gives you and the good stuff it gives you is just superior. So, yeah. I know that might sound weird. When I first heard about it, I was like, that's gross. But anyway, <laughs> that is my decision. Um, and I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Obviously, we want to have skin to skin with Tim. And yeah, so there's a whole, and I want to have like an active labor where I'm up, I'm doing certain positions. Um, and yeah, all this sort of stuff, If you're, if I'm saying these things and you're kind of like, what's a breast crawl, what's active labor, what are these positions, and you're wanting to know more, cannot recommend hypnobirthing enough. And then also something to do is um, listen to podcasts. So I personally have listened to Positive Birth 
um, stories, which is, that's the name of the podcast. They have really great positive birth stories and Australian birth stories, which is another podcast. Um, and I've really just been like listening to other women's experience because, oh, and like some other things with my birth plan, I personally don't want to have vaginal examinations to check how dilated I am. The reason for this is I know my mindset and I've watched quite a other quite a other like YouTube videos of birth vlogs and like listen to podcasts and these women will be like you know mentally strong they're doing their thing they then get a vaginal um uh like yeah check how dilated they are and it's only about four centimeters and labor's been going for like you know 16 hours and they just like are like i can't do another 16 hours and so they you know then get the epidural or whatever which is so fine no judgment there but i've also then heard a love a lot of other positive birth stories where um they've only been about four centimeters and in a space of 40 minutes they've gone from four centimeters to eight centimeters and so i just think like for example if i'm laboring for a long time and i'm like you know in that kind of breaking point and then you tell me i've still got you know i'm not even halfway dilated and it's been happening for a long time i 100 percent will go give me the epidural i cannot do this mentally so if so you don't legally i've checked out the hospital you don't have to get checks um only if like things are kind of not going right but i've said to tim if we have to get you know a check of how dilated i am they can tell you i don't want to know i do not want to know because i know my i know my mental state and i'll go fuck this <laughs> give me the epidural um, and it could just be, you know, I'm about to really transition. I'm about to go to that next stage really fast. Um, so it's just my personal opinion. Know my mental state. Uh, another great resource that I've done is, so the Australian Birth Stories podcast, Sophie, the uh, host, she has an online course um let me just get it up she has an online course called the birth class um and she actually gifted that to me ages ago and i kind of forgot about it and then it was the other weekend and i've been feeling super uncomfortable and super just like anti-social i don't want to do anything on the weekend and so i was just like doing baby girl's room laying by the pool chilling and i was like oh yeah i've got that online course the birth class and basically it is nine modules which is just um audio videos audio <laughs> modules i don't know why it's so hard to get that out and basically um so like i'll just go through them quick quickly so module one the hormones of labor and physiological childbirth so again being informed about what happens in your body i think knowing that and being informed and having autonomy over that is huge um opti optimal maternal positioning so this was actually very helpful me to me because baby girl was breech so i was doing certain things to get her to not be breech and i recently got my scan just the other day and her head is now at the bottom so she's no longer breech that was super helpful module three is active birthing what i was talking about so so interesting cannot wait to do that pain management and birth interventions again being informed by everything being informed about what you would be willing to do what you would not what you would prefer what to expect in a cesarean so obviously um like i'm not going in there thinking i want a cesarean but again being informed that could happen so important and now i also have a birth plan if something does happen and I do need a cesarean of exactly what I will ask for about skin on skin, delayed clamping and all that sort of stuff, breech birth, what to expect after birth. That was so helpful um, in regards to they talk about breastfeeding and whatnot, 
vaginal birth after cesarean and there's like a meditation breathing exercises and a perineal massage guide so honestly i did that course over the weekend um so there's nine modules they're about like an hour each but i just like smashed it out i put my airpods in i was cleaning i was chilling and i just felt so empowered because there were so many like moments where I was like that is so interesting I'm gonna have that going into birth and again guys sorry if you can hear the rain and again guys it's not about me having the most magical perfect birth it's about me going into it feeling informed and feeling like I've got tools in my tool belt um, and that just makes me feel so empowered. Um, I've also asked, so I did this in like a weekend and I messaged Sophie and I was like, holy shit, loved the modules. It's a really good option if you, um, if you just like kind of want to listen to something you want, you don't want to like go into a class. Hypnobirthing is a lot more extensive and a lot more hands on definitely recommend that for you and your partner but this was just like a great refresher um and yeah so i asked sophie if i could have a code for you guys because i just think it's so important to be informed and she has given me a 50 dollars off code so i'll put it here it's just like georgie 50 and you can get 50 dollars off the birth class i think it's about 200 dollars so worth it and like listen to it on your walk when you're chilling cleaning Oh my god, just, yeah, cannot recommend enough. Some other birth prep stuff that I've been doing is I've been seeing a physio once a week. A physio, um, so we've been doing like physio Pilates, and um, just because I do want to keep active, I actually find... Sorry guys, my camera died, so <laughs> this is the iPhone quality. I'm just about to finish, so it's all good. Um, I actually find walking so uncomfortable like i don't know what it is it's her position it's something and i was doing a lot of walking like previous to about 34 weeks and it was fine i hit like 34 35 and i just find walking so uncomfortable and so i've just been doing pilates classes to keep active and i really enjoyed that so once a week i see a physio pilates um instructor and it has just been good uh we've just been doing different things to like make sure my pelvis is like in the right place and i'm not like overdoing it um, and I've also been doing some pelvic floor exercises with her because I actually have a weak pelvic floor. Um, so that has been important. I'm trying to think if there is anything else. Yeah, just the hypnobirthing has been incredible. I could not recommend that enough to you guys. Uh, that birth class was so incredible too. Couldn't recommend it enough. Um, and then, yeah, I guess a big thing that we've been doing is just really making sure and being intentional about positive experience. So, um, listening to positive experiences, births on podcasts, like sourcing out those things, especially if you have trauma from like people, you know, have had trauma or you're holding certain stories around birth, like know that you get to create your own story you get to have your own experience um and yeah i thought it would also be good because i'll do this video this is what i think will happen this is the plan and then of course we will do a video after to let you know how it all went and all that sort of jazz so i will put all the links of the stuff that i chatted about in the description i hope this was helpful please let me know if you have any other questions and we can chat in the comments but thank you so much for listening to this video watching this video supporting my channel i really appreciate it and i will see you in my next video bye for now